never seem to call me lately. But I don't think she knew me at all. Hey, what's going on guys? It is Insanity here. Welcome to today's video and in today's video We're gonna be doing another Insanity's top five video again. I guys I do Want you to be like a part of the series so comment down below what your top five favorites are for the episode So for this episode, we're gonna do my top five favorite guns in Call of Duty So in the comment section, you're gonna uh, type in your top five favorite guns in Call of Duty if you ever played it So yeah, let's just kick it off at number five coming in at number five I'm gonna have to choose the Man of War from Black Ops 3 now this gun was it, I still play Black Ops 3 to this day I don't really play Infinite Warfare or COD 4 remastered that much. It's I don't really those games don't really amuse me so I went back to black ops 3 and I still use this gun a lot it, This gun is like hella powerful. It's ridiculous and uh, It like it kills in like three bullets at any range two if you're very very close. It's ridiculous I just like it for its sheer power and I also really like it for its uh, like I don't know how to explain it It's like it's an assault rifle. So it has okay mobility if I could say it like that All right So coming in at number four I am going to have to choose the commando from black ops one now the commando was my favorite my second favorite gun in this game Honestly, this gun was just beautiful. It was just straight beautiful. I loved it when you pack punch it in zombies I think it be I think it was called the predator. It was honestly amazing I love this gun so much the reason why I liked it so much is because it just gave you that classic Call of Duty feel And also it just looked like a just an American weapon just strictly American I don't even know if it was but it looked American and it looked really cool I don't know why but I just like American like styled weapons. I think they're cool I like it for its looks and I don't it's Power is okay. It kills him like four or five bullets, but it's it's okay. It's not the best. So yeah, that's why it's my number four. Coming in at number three is another Black Ops one weapon, and it is my favorite in the game, and that is the Galil. Now they just brought the Galil back into Black Ops three, and I, honestly, I'm trying to uh, trying to play it. So yeah, yeah, trying to get it. So you know, I'm just I've been playing a lot. So uh, this gun just was so accurate. It was ridiculous. It was a classic gun. It, it gave you again. It gave you that classic Call of Duty feel. I love the reflex sight, I think it was called. I love putting that on the gun. It, it's insanely accurate. It's powerful. And it was just an all around, like, one of the most overpowered weapons of Black Ops 1. I didn't really play Black Ops 1 that much, but that was my first Call of Duty. And honestly, I love the gun. And yeah, that's why it's my number three. So coming in at my number two is a little, was a little iffy because I didn't really know what to put in at my number two. Uh, I know that those were my first ones. I just forgot number two, but I remembered it somewhat it is the hvk from black ops 3 this gun is honestly uh my favorite in the game it is it is always been my favorite i remember playing it with it in the beta the only thing i don't like about it is the paint job it's it's not that good it's not that good it's only on the top rail of the weapon it's not that good but otherwise the gun is very accurate it is kind of weak but i kind of roll with the fast types of play style i guess you could call it and it 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 does kill it does get the job done high fire rate which makes it which makes up for the the weak bullets but yeah this gun is just it's been there the whole entire time it's I always use it in uh, search and destroy a lot so yeah why not make it my number two all right now so then this next one is uh, you know probably a lot of people's favorite weapon from a call of duty so uh, I'm just gonna go out and say it I, it's gonna be a ACR from Black, uh, no, uh, Black Ops, uh, the Modern Warfare 3. Now, I'm pretty sure you guys were expecting me to say Modern Warfare 2, but again, if you guys watched my previous videos, I didn't really play Modern Warfare 2 at all, so I don't really know what the game is like, so when the game comes out, it's literally going to be like a new Call of Duty to me. I've never played it, but I did play COD 4 a little bit. Uh, I just skipped over MW2, and I, n I just never really played it. So yeah, I, my second Call of Duty was Modern Warfare 3, and I used the ACR ever since I got it at level 55. 55, I think I got it at, 50, something like that. But the gun was just ridiculous. It did so much damage. It was so ridiculously powerful, and it, it had the suppressor, dude. Oh, it's just the, the accuracy with the suppressor you hear in the, the, the hit markers. It was just... It made it made it very satisfying. It was a very satisfying gun to use. It was a very powerful gun to use, and yeah, that's why it's my number one, guys. Hope you guys did enjoy. I know I always liked making these videos, but I, I do work hard on them. These are the videos that I work on the most. Uh, maybe like a few other videos, like the the how they react video. That I worked on that for four hours. It was ridiculous. But these I work on for like two and a half, three hours, and I finally get it out for you guys by like eight o'clock. 
So yeah, hope you guys did enjoy this video. I know I always enjoy making these videos, so leave a like. Uh, subscribe if you're new, as it does help me and this community grow. So uh, yeah, I love you all that's been supporting my channel lately. Love all your comments that you've been leaving. And yeah, it's been insanity, guys. I'll see you all later.